everyone and welcome to Lal Nutrition. My name is Michelle Lal and I'm a holistic nutritionist. So in this video I wanted to do my April favorites and it's, <laughs> it's sort of almost mid-May but uh, I wanted to keep up with doing my favorites because I think it's a great way for me to share all the little things that I'm doing in, in one little video. So this month or this past month um, I'm going to start off with, um, I was traveling, I traveled with my son, so some of these items, they were more um, <laughs> travel friendly. And so the first one I'm going to show you is actually, so it's called Sea Snacks and it is essentially raw seaweed. Um, I see a lot of um, these seaweeds in stores that are sort of fried <laughs> or they've been, been at, salt has been added, but if you just get them in the raw form, they actually taste really good and I think they're a bit healthier because whenever you sort of cook something, you're taking away um, the nutritional value of it. And seaweed is so amazing and so nutrient dense. This is organic, this one, so you have to be aware of where you're getting your seaweed because um, you know, waters are polluted, so if it says organic, it's going to be grown in an area with less pollution. So seaweeds are so mineral rich. Um, they have so many mineral, uh, their mineral density is amazing, and it's really great sort of supplement addition to add into your everyday eating. I would suggest having it every day. Um, you can use nori as a wrap. I just break off little pieces for my son and he chews on it. Um, so it's almost like a, a chip. Um, you can you know, cut it up into little, little pieces and, and sprinkle it on your salad. It adds a salty flavor without this excess sodium. Um, and so it's a, an amazing food and it travels really well and it's great. It's actually really great to have on the airplane because it helps with radiation um, because of the iodine content. Okay, so the next item that travels really well, I think, or is a really great food, are avocados. So I actually didn't take any with me to Trinidad thinking they would be available there, but they it sort of wasn't the season for it, and they don't really have these ones. Um, and these are coming from Mexico. But I love avocados because they're so filling. They have amazing fats in them. They have amazing minerals, protein. Um, it's so easy uh, to eat. Um, and so easy to carry around and what I usually do is I take an avocado and banana with me wherever I go and it's instant baby food also. Um, avocados are an amazing uh, food for pregnancy or if you're trying to conceive. It contains all, you know, a, a ton of vitamins and minerals that are really um, for pregnancy. Uh, for instance, there's tons of folate. Obviously, um, you can think of an avocado as the perfect pregnancy food because it actually takes nine months to mature. And there's so many comparisons with the avocado and just uh, fertility. So avocados are amazing, f full of so many amazing heart fats too, and just great to travel with. So the next thing I have that I've been really loving and I really loved were um, papaya. And so I just got this one here. Um, you'll have to be aware of papayas. There are genetically modified ones. Um, I don't always get organic ones. I was in Trinidad and so, you know, they're locally grown and my mom, I eat so many um, papayas and I threw it into smoothies. And um, you can sort of, you know, talk to farmers and see how they're taking care of their fruit. Um, but if you're buying it here, if you could buy it organic or look out for the ones that are non-GMO, papayas don't necessarily get sprayed that much, so you don't have to be maybe too worried about it um, being organic. And so papayas are really great because they contain this enzyme called papain, and it is a protein digesting enzyme. So if there's a buildup of extra protein in your body, and that's where you know arthritis and things like that, inflammation come from, you basically having these extra enzymes found in the papaya helps to dissolve that. So people with arthritis, it's really great to eat more um, foods like sort of pineapple papaya contain these protein dissolving enzymes that can help mitigate or at least alleviate some of the symptoms of arthritis. Um, it also helps with your digestion. Um, so papayas are amazing. Um, and I had tons of papayas. I actually did this course at the Anne Wigmore Institute a few years ago, which is um, they, they are into living foods. And papaya was one of their main foods to help with healing the body. 
So love papayas, and if you are brave enough to eat the seeds, they're also anti-parasitic. So probably really great if you're traveling to tropical countries. Okay, so the next thing, so another great travel food, actually, well, I'm gonna say chia. So chia seeds, um, these ones are white, they come in black. I actually travel with them, but mine ended up getting a bit rancid. So this is a note when traveling, if you're taking things that are um, a bit perishable, and especially chia seeds, they contain omega-3 and 6 fats, which are essential fatty acids, so that means our bodies don't produce them, but these fats are also super delicate. Um, the fact that they're in a seed helps to protect them from oxygenation and heat and all of these things, but um, I think mine might have gone rancid. I kind of kept it out. It's pretty hot in Trinidad, and it was in the luggage, and it just was out for too long, and I think they did go rancid. So that's a good note. Whenever you have chia seeds, keep them in the fridge. Um, but chia seeds, like I was saying, they contain amazing uh, essential fatty acids, especially omega-3. And a lot of people don't get enough omega-3s. Um, chia seeds also contain tons of calcium, more so than milk. And so if you have more of a vegetarian or vegan diet or you're, you're not consuming any dairy, it's really great. Actually, most green plant foods have tons of calcium, so you don't really have to worry about it. But chia seeds are a really great source of calcium. Um, so I would suggest what I did, I have a recipe, I'll link it, I do a chia seed pudding and so I make it with, right now it's very simple, it's Brazil nuts, uh, chia seeds and dates just sort of soaked for at least 20 minutes and blend it up into a pudding and I feed my son that, it's great baby food too, so a lot of the foods I eat my son just eats too because it's easily digestible, it's um, really nutrient dense and he loves it, sometimes he has it with a straw or a spoon. Um, and so that's a really great travel food, um, especially if you have babies, you're not sure if you're going to get really good quality food for your child. And the next thing, I probably have like so many tons of things this month, the next thing I have is nettle leaf um, tea. And so this is also just, I keep having it every day because I'm still breastfeeding and it's really mineral dense and it can, you know, you can get a lot of iron out of it. Um, and just the more long, the longer you, you steep it, the more sort of the mineral content you're going to pull out of it. Um, it's also, it's springtime now, and so this is sort of one of the foods that are in season, even though it's in a tea, it's going to, you know, help your body just, uh, it's a great adaptogen for the whole body. So it's just going to help you get through the season, seasonal transitions. Um, so I have that tea at night with, I have a breast milk tea, and I just, um, you know, steep it at night and have it right before bed. Okay, so the next thing, we're moving along here. I think a couple more things. So the next thing I have is this really cute uh, lunch kit by So Young. I think they're a local company in Toronto, but it's just really cute. I think um, to have a little lunch kit, I put my son, all my son's foods in there, and it's really good for me. It's just really portable. And I think uh, it's also just really great to instill in kids, even though he's just over one, um, just kind of cultivating the idea of having your own food and eating really healthy and carrying your own snacks and not to be constantly buying food outside, um, just to create a better relationship with food for him. Um, it's convenient for moms and it just looks really cute. Um, and the next thing I have is, you can't really, it's sort of all like, tattered and torn. It's um, it's a lip, uh, a lip gloss, I suppose, from RMS, and they're a beauty line that is really into organics. And the thing is, a lot of people might switch over, um, and this color is, I'll put it down, it's, what is it, Promise? So it's it's very sort of ne neutral for me, for, for my coloring, and I really like it, and I, I started wearing it again lately. Um, and I, I wore it last year, and so I just I just like to just have something that's a little more natural. I don't really wear makeup, and it's usually just things on my lips I wear. So this is just really easy. Um, it's a really nice color. But my main thing also is that the pro the sort of ingredients used are um, really good. Most of them are organic, and if you look at the Dirty Dozen chemical guide, none of those are found in this. So a lot of people, they switch over to organic food, but you have to also look at your products and everything you're putting on your body. 
um, and especially things you're putting on your lips because you actually are consuming the product. And so if you've switched over to more of an organic diet or just trying to be healthier and you're still using sort of conventional beauty products, you're still consuming it. So it's still um, a toxic load in your body. So this is, is a great brand and I, I really love this color. Um, and the last thing I'm going to talk about is this a book. <laughs> So this is Gabrielle Bernstein's um, Add More Ink to Your Life, A Hip Guide to Happiness. It's torn and battered. I've had this for many years. And it's a fun book on, I would say, I guess, spirituality or just even going through things like um, getting in touch with your feelings or mirroring or, um, you know, romantic relationships or um, just negative thinking and thoughts. And so as a holistic nutritionist, I not only look at food, but I look at in my clients, they're where they are emotionally, and I usually suggest things for them to do that may be simple. I'm not a therapist, but I have, you know, I can suggest things that can kind of help them in the day to day. And this is really great, and it's, um, you know, it's really easy to read. It's, it's really, um, I really, I really like it. It's not that. I don't want to say dense or so technical or, or, or in, in jargon or anything like that and so it's really relatable and so I find I've been using it I've been using the mirroring exercise um, a lot lately so whenever someone irritates you or you know you see something in someone that kind of annoys you um, it really is you can look at them as a mirror as it's something inside of you that maybe you're not seeing so you know you can kind of take take back your own power by looking at what's going on and that actually makes you have compassion for that person for yourself and so you know you kind of can go back to a more positive space and so it's working through those feelings not just you know kind of saying that person irritates me and then not knowing why or, or, or looking into it so I like that book and a lot of her other books there's um, really simple little tips so those have been, um, just to wrap it up, my favorites for the month, um, or for last month, and um, so they're just little things you can just add in um, into your day-to-day -day life, um, and hopefully they just, you know, are, it really is about one little chain, so if you add in one thing, maybe more papaya or, you know, more nettle tea or something like that, you just make small shifts in your day-to-day -day life, and then you sort of can cultivate a healthier lifestyle. So hopefully these uh, items have helped you, these tips, and I look forward to hearing from you. Please be sure to like this video. Please subscribe because I send out uh, videos uh, pretty much every week. And be sure to uh, comment if you have any comments and uh, share this video if anyone you know might be interested. So I look forward to sharing more with you and I hope you have a great day. Bye.